Hello, hello, and welcome to anybody and everybody who is joining in on this video today. I have been invited to join in with the rest of you amazing ladies on this soap challenge. First, I want to give thanks to the Lord because without him, none of us would be here. Amen, amen. And I also would like to give thanks to Pastor Hope, Pastor Anna, and Pastor Delinda for this amazing opportunity to share the word with you guys. Amen. So let me go ahead and get into my soap for today. I will be reading out of Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 through 17, where scripture says to be careful, very careful, then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most out of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. So my observation, I wrote that we need to be careful and aware of how we are living our lives. We need to be wise about how we are walking on this earth, walking in a way that is pleasing to the Lord. How we utilize our energy and our time is important, making the most of all that is before us. God can and will use anything to bring about his glory. We can't be out here acting a fool up in these streets right? Living out of our flesh, but instead we need to pay attention to the will of God, letting the spirit lead us into doing the Lord's will. Amen. So my application, I wrote that living a purpose-filled life is about being intentional. Scripture tells us that we need to be careful not to live unwise, but to live wisely, making the most of every opportunity that has been set before us to share God's word, to build up the kingdom, and to encourage and edify others in hope and in love. Why? Because these days are evil. We know this. We see it. It's going on around us. The world is upside down and going crazy. But you know what? We cannot let, okay, we cannot let what's going on around us encourage us to make decisions that are foolish and that are dishonorable. But that it is in this moment that we need to understand the Lord's will, and that that is what matters. Amen. At the end of the day, it is his will and his way. So Martin Luther King stated that if we don't learn to live together as brothers, we will die as fools. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 23, scripture tells us that we are to reject foolishness and ignorant disputes because we know that it can lead to quarrels, which can lead to foolish decisions. Amen. Let us be alert to the enemy's tactics. Seek wisdom and live by it wisely. Make the most of every opportunity for the good. Don't let foolishness lead you into sin. Amen. Gain an understanding of the will of God over your life, right? And focus on that. Keep your eyes on the prize, ladies. In my prayer, I wrote... Father God, Lord of hosts, we humbly come before you right now and we first give you honor and we give you thanks for this day. We thank you for your living word that ignites our souls. Father God, I ask that you pull the veil from our eyes so that we may see your truth. I pray that we seek your wisdom in your word and not from man. My God, I pray that you open up the ears to hear your words speak to our hearts. 
Lord God, I pray that we don't become fooled by the enemy's tactics, but instead we bind anything that is not of you in the name of Jesus. I pray that as your children, we take the time to sit with you, seek you, and gain a better understanding of you and your will over our lives. Help us to not look from the left to our right, but to fix our eyes on you, my God. We know that you are an almighty God whose word and will is truth and power. We take this moment to give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. In Jesus' matchless and mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. So with that being said, that was my soap challenge for today. I hope that um, the words minister to you. I pray and hope that you have a terrific Tuesday and a blessed day in the overflow of the joy of the Lord. And again, I thank you for stopping by and blessings upon blessings on you today. Amen and goodbye.